Maggie Johnson with Texas AgriLife Extension Service. Welcome to this week's episode of Dinner Tonight. We are special guests at the Gourmet Gallery in Waco, Texas. Today we are going to be putting together a healthy carrot and broccoli wrap. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're looking for a super simple recipe with things that you probably have in your refrigerator and in your pantry, this is the recipe for you. It doesn't have any protein in it, so if you have vegetables at the end of the week that you really, really need to um, go ahead and, and use up, this is a perfect recipe. Here we had two cups of broccoli that I just basically chopped up prior to hand. And then here we have half a cup of, of shredded carrots. And both broccoli and your carrots are going to be a great source of vitamin A and vitamin C. And then they also have potassium as well. In addition, they are also a great source of dietary fiber as well. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and heat our broccoli and our carrots together. I'm going to go ahead and add a fourth cup of water in here. Not going to need any oil for this. So all you're basically doing is just you're going to go ahead and heat both vegetables together just for a short time. Don't have to saute them or anything. Just want them to get a little bit of heat. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and start adding the other items in, in your recipe. Here I have one tablespoon of lemon juice, and this is fresh lemon juice. So I'm sure you'll probably have that on hand that you probably need to use up also by the end of the week. And then you have low sodium cream of chicken soup that you're going to go ahead and just pour on in here. And all of us always have that in our pantry. At least try to, so that way you can try to put together something at the end of the week when we're all exhausted, don't really want to go for takeout. And or if you're trying to save money on top of that. So we're going to go ahead and heat all of these items all together. You want to make sure everything is nice and mixed well. And then you're going to just add some ground pepper. This is about an eighth of a teaspoon. And then some garlic powder also. This is about a fourth of a teaspoon. Just going to give it some additional flavors. You see we didn't add any sodium, no salt to this recipe because of course your cream of, cream of chicken has some sodium in it. It's still low, low in sodium, but it still has some that's going to give it flavors. So that's it. You want it to get nice and bubbly and once it does, you can turn down your heat, turn it off. So that's where we're at now. It's nice and bubbly. Everything is pretty much heated nice and nice and well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a whole wheat tortilla, 100% whole wheat. And basically I just warmed this tortilla up in my paper towel for about 10 seconds. And so you're going to spoon on your mixture into your whole wheat tortilla, which is an other source of good dietary fiber as well. So you can spoon on, spoon into your tortilla. Then you're going to go ahead and just wrap just like you do any other tortilla wrap. Nice and pretty. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this onto my serving dish. And what I've added here are also some fresh strawberries and some fresh grapes. This particular recipe serves six individuals at just a dollar per serving. So the next time you're wondering what's for dinner, I hope that you turn to Texas AgriLife Extension Service for our healthy, nutritious meal ideas. Again, a special thanks to the Gourmet Gallery in Waco, Texas. Thank you.